welcome back. Um, if you're new here, my name is Crystal. And today we are going to do a haul slash unboxing. I have a book of the month that was delivered pretty much uh, the beginning of this month. I haven't had a chance to open it yet. Um, got a couple packages from thriftbooks.com. Haven't opened that up either. And then today I went over to the, I'm looking over here to see what I have. Went over to the Dollar Tree because I was intending to do a shop with me. But guys, that, that didn't work out at all. I went over there and the, uh, the store was a mess. The books were everywhere. Um, I have a little bit of video that I was able to get. So I will insert that somewhere in this video. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So stick around with me. So what I'm gonna do first, um, since it's right here in front of me, I did go ahead and cut the box open, but I didn't open it up. Um, this is my book of the month subscription. And I'm sad to say that I have been with them for a few months and I haven't read anything yet. I just, I, I have so many on my TBR that I just, I can't keep up. I think I'm pretty much pushing 200. I went out and actually bought some more book cubes because I have them stacked everywhere. Um, my last video you saw, I had them stacked on the side of me, stacked behind me. I had them stacked everywhere, but it's okay, I bought two book cubes and we're gonna get it together. So, um, let me see here, got great taste. Okay, yes I do. Okay, A Good Marriage, let's move that out of the way. Uh, a Good Marriage by Kimberly McGright, McGrist, hopefully, McGrait, McGrait, I think that's what it is. Can't read here. Um, this was my chosen for May. Yes, this was my chosen for May. Now I have um, the other ones here. I couldn't tell you what month it was, so I have no idea. Um, <clears throat> Silent Patient, everybody was raving about this, so I chose this one for my book of the month. Um, had great reviews, so I chose that one for whatever month it was. Like I said, I don't know. Um, a Good Neighbor, same thing. Um, this was on, I think, Barnes & Noble's top picks. And then uh, The Guest List. This was another one that I received from Book of the Month. Um, if you don't know what book of the month is, it is a subscription box, of course. Um, I do have a discount code. I'll leave that down in the description box. So there is that. Um, let's do, let's do the ones that's, oh my gosh, it's been in my car for so long. You guys, it is embarrassing. I got this out of my P.O. box and I put it in my back seat and I literally forgot about them. So I have no idea what is in this. So we're gonna open this up and see. Uh, thrift books, this is, oh, let me not show you my address. <laughs> Don't want people coming to my house, y'all. Don't want people coming to my house. Anyway, um, this is basically a discounted um, um, site. So what I do is I go on their site when I, when books are like this that I like, <clears throat> excuse me, and the full retail is $26, $27. I'll wait till it comes on thrift books because you can go and you can get the um, the like new or new for $4.79. Um, now this, I have a discount code as well. I will put that down in the description. Okay, what do we have here? Um, oh yes, I do remember. 
bad twin. Um, I did a little theme here. This one is the third twin. I was looking for stuff that had the twin in them because that's just, twins fascinate me. Um, I don't know, I just, I've always met twins and they talked at the same time and things like that. So I thought these would be thriller books. So I um, picked these two up. Um, I think I have, yes I do. I have one more from Thrift Books. I don't know if it's twin related. We shall see. Let's see. Okay. Danielle Steele, The Sins of Mother. I'm fascinated with books like this as well. Um, there's just something about, you know, the, the hidden secret of mothers and nannies and things like that when they're evil and evil twins and things like that. What I've been trying to do, um, I've been trying to get a lot more of thriller books because I would say probably 80% of my TBR is romance. So I'm trying to veer away, steer away, however you want to say it, away from romance. Not 100% because that's my number one thing is romance. Um, but try to get more uh, other genres on my TBR shelf. Okay, so these are the ones that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Now, normally, um, people that watch me, I haven't been on YouTube for very long, um, but people that do watch me, I do repeat myself when I say, a lot of times when I pick up books, I pick up books for the covers. Now, when, like I said earlier, when I went to Dollar Tree today, um, the store was pretty much a mess. So some of the books I've seen already, some of them um, I've already hauled. So these particular ones, um, I picked up one, two, three, four, five. These five, I did actually uh, stand in the aisle, open up the covers and um, read the insides because I wanted to make sure it was something that I would read. Um, try not to be too wasteful because sometimes I can uh, open up a book and read it you know, 10 or 20 pages and I'm bored. So I wanted to make sure this haul that I got was something that I was gonna actually read. So here we go. Um, this one is Ice Cold. I'm not gonna read the description um, inside because I may wanna do a review. So no spoiler alerts here. Um, this one, The Ghost of Christmas Past. So I did read uh, the inside cover of this one. Thought that one sounded good. This one, I, you know, I read the inside of this one. I did pick it up. Um, but I noticed that this was the only book on the shelf that didn't have a, a dust jacket. I mean, but, you know, for a dollar, it, it's fine. So, um, Julia Vanishes. So, this to me is going to be mystery, maybe murder. We'll see. The next one is Doreen. I think, I think that this actually is one that I did not read the inside. This one, um, now that I think about it, I did pick it up for the cover. So there you go. And last but not least, uh, this one's a softback. I normally like hard hardbacks. Um, I don't know why. I have a lot of softbacks in my collection. But lately, I've just really been into the hardbacks. Um, this one is The Missing Hours. To me, this is gonna be a thriller as well. And I just really love this cover. Um, anybody who watches me, um, I have said before, I love blue. That's my favorite color, I love blue. But um, that is all I have for today. I just wanted to jump on here real quick and do this haul. That way I can get these books off of my kitchen table because my husband walks by and looks at them every day. So I'm gonna get these off my table, um, get these books put into my app. 
That way I know that I have them and I don't buy duplicates. Um, if anybody wants to know what app I use, I use uh, Book Buddy. It's either Plus or Pro. It's not free. Um, I think I paid $4.99 for it, but you can search books. You can um, download your books in it. You can search it and then save it to your book buddy. Um, then you'll have the name, the title, the author, and the cover of the book. So if you're ever somewhere and you are looking to get a book and you think it sounds interest you think that it sounds interesting but you're not sure if you have it you can go on your book buddy hit on the hourglass type in the name and then the book will come up so that's going to save me a lot of money because i'm one of those that i have so many on my tv tbr that i forget what i have then i end up buying doubles and then i end up giving them away so Book Buddy prevents that. Okay, so that is about it. So we've got Dollar Tree, we've got Book of the Month, and we've got Thrift Books. So thanks again for stopping by. Thanks so much. If you would help me by hitting that bell button, subscribing to my channel, it would be greatly appreciated. Thanks, guys.